Kickboxer. He's a long guy though. Look at those arms and legs. Especially for 160, that's a long guy. If he can make 55, holy moly. representing four And Purdue in the red gloves is exceptionally long in the limbs. This looks a Jeez, little longer. Is he? Looks like um, like Mr. Stretch. <laughs> See if that uh, pays to his advantage. You know, Rector is not like a small guy either. No, no, no. It's just Purdue is just like all limbs. Purdue's doing a really good job so far of finding shots on the ends of his limbs. And they are making Dale work in there. <laughs> yeah, they are. They got Dale, Dale's circling. They got Dale moving around like he's on a Segway. Well, he doesn't want to get caught up in all those legs. <laughs> Not setting up those two head kick attempts. Yeah, and he's got to be careful. He's reaching a little bit on those. Easy to get caught when that happens. And Purdue's doing a great job of sending the jab just right down the middle. Yeah, Rector is winding up a little bit on all his kicks. It makes it a little bit easier to read. Though that one does land. That one was pretty nice. It's one. It's one of those things, though, right? Like you, you. It's the shots you don't see coming. So yeah. even if you do get hit by a shot where a guy like war like warms up, you have that moment to like stiffen yourself, steal yourself against that shot. But you can't tough guy your way out of a big leg kicking situation. Like you take enough of those, and your body will just stop, stop working. Yeah, you you could tell your brain to keep going all you want, but if your legs won't support you, you don't really have anything. 
Noah's corner telling him to chop down the tree. Yeah, but it's Purdue who's actually having success with the outside low kick. Every time he's thrown an outside low kick, he's folded Rector over, not yeah, taking him off his Yeah, the buckles a little, yeah. you see it? But he is buckling him, yeah, absolutely. Great first round, quick first round. Didn't feel like two minutes, but a lot of action. Makes the time go by a little faster. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're doing laps around the cage almost. Still five more fights after this one for kickboxing. Man, the limbs on these guys. I'm so jealous. <laughs> reach is never something I had. Yeah, if you, if you had reach in one of your fights, it was probably because you were fighting a toddler. Yeah, this is the reason I uh, actually fought at Adam Week because uh, Early in my amateur career, I did a few at straw weight, and some of those 115 girls are like tall and yeah, skinny, yeah. and I was like, nah, I'm going to 105. It's hard for me to believe that like Carolina Kovalkiewicz makes 115. Like yeah. she's so tall and long. I met her once at a UFC meet and greet oh, thing, nice. and she was like my height. I was like, how is this person 115? Discipline. Yeah, uh, ex ex insane discipline. All right, Purdue popping those jabs out there. Oh, <laughs> kind of the, the getting some Mario air on these knees. Super yeah, Mario knees. Yeah, definitely a bit comical when you see it. You know, if Purdue has a good strategy, if he just keeps coming down the middle with teeps and jabs and crosses and then looking for those low kicks, that is definitely a smart play. Rector's corner calling for him to, to not hesitate and just go. You can't let a super long guy like that get off too many unanswered strikes. Low shot there, questionably low. Rector's been throwing a little wild all fight. They're in neutral corners. So we'll get a few few minutes to recover if he needs. He looked good though, so it looks like Dale's gonna resume the action here. Action slowed down a lot in this round. Finding some success with the low kicks there for Rector though, but now Pay attention to his guard. He's reaching with this. Yeah. So if uh, Purdue comes over the top, and he does wobble Purdue a little bit with that low kick, he kind of buckles he, away. He's catching Purdue moving around. Like when, when, when his weight's not on his feet, he's doing a great job of slamming that kick home. That Rector's got to bring his hands tighter to his head, though. But you're when he reaches right. like that, it's, it's concerning that he's going to get caught. You're absolutely right, Sam. That is a big reach. All right, it could be so tempting because, you know, Purdue is so long that you're trying to like reach and see where he's at. And oh, that head kick kind of snapped up a little bit. Not a clean connection, but it did connect. Yeah, and now when, when you reach like that too, your punches become a little bit more like pushes mm -hmm. versus that snap that you're looking for. But overall, he was the aggressor that round and had more connections. Uh, he definitely had a lot more success that round than his previous efforts. Man, these fights are so close. All day it's been like this here at Fight Court 17. We got one more round out here for these debut fighters. Alex Perdue in the red, Noah Rector in the blue. Both looking to try and get their first victory here tonight. Yeah, I see Mike and I were talking on the last show about that. Sam always says that when people are making their debut, and it makes it sound like they've, they've already fought and they haven't won. <laughs> yeah, he, he puts a little spin on that phrasing. Yeah, make it, making it to the their way to the cage for the very first time is probably a little better. Yeah. Purdue popping the jab out from the get-go. He did that the previous two rounds and then kind of let off on it. 
Purdue's also gotten away from the outside low. There it is. Yep. <laughs> and again, Rector trying to answer with some of his own, but not targeting the exact same location that Purdue was. And you don't have a lot of time to work in the clinch, so if you're trying to get that sweep off, you got to hit it quick. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the sweeps aren't scorable, though. Yeah, so yeah. So why waste the effort? <laughs> well, we've seen a lot of uh, not scorable movement from several fights tonight. I agree. Almost like a soccer kick there. And again, you can now, see him kind of grit Re his teeth. Rector throws a little wild, but when he does connect, it's clear that he has some power. Yeah, I mean, he's bloodied up the face of Purdue. You can see a little bit of blood coming out yeah, the nose of Purdue. From the first round, he's really fought his way back into this. Yeah, agreed. So, uh, if Purdue's paid, I know their debut, so it might be difficult to see, but if Purdue's paying attention to Fight IQ, before Rector strikes, he kind of like bites down on his mouthpiece, so you know that he's going to throw a heavy strike. Yeah, he's really, he, he's, they're both just very tired right now. Oh, man, that head dip always yeah. scares me. Even though the knees are illegal, it's it, it can happen it's by horrifying. accident, you know. I mean, you know, you're just Good reaching up with kick. your foot. Just reaching up with your foot. You can kick somebody's head off. Yeah, I wish Purdue would throw more of those low kicks. Yeah, He's yeah. they've been a very good uh, move for him when they have landed. Yeah, they're a great tool that he, he should utilize. Good jab. Very short time left in this third and final round for debut fighters. We're about 45 minutes out from MMA as this fight good winds work. down. And it's Rector. Almost looked like Purdue was going to go in for a takedown, which again, not scorable. The old Dylan Danis strategy. Yeah, that's what we need in the, in the world, more of that. Rector definitely uh, hyped up. And he did, he did have a burst of energy at the end of the third round. I would have liked to see a little more of that throughout the fight. Well, there's a, a certain um, feeling that comes when you realize, oh, I'm tired, but he's way more tired than me. I always um, tell my students one of the best feelings in the world is when you see the fight go out of your opponent. Oh, yeah. In jiu-jitsu, that's the best because that's what the art is really about sometimes. I've been in the cage or on the mats, and when I see that, I'm like, I know I want it. Because I just want it anymore. Smother tap time. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting fights tonight, though. Nobody's like kind of uh, just sitting back waiting Phoned for it things in. to happen. Yeah. yeah. There's been very few fights that have happened at the, what I call the sparring pace, right? Yeah. Like just a back and forth, like I go then you go type of pace. And you do see that happen occasionally, but not not tonight. I definitely had Rector taking rounds two and three, but Me not too. not by a landslide. I thought round two was very negligible on how close it was. Um, but man, split decision, theme of the night. Rector, Rector definitely fought more in the third, like he wanted it more. Yes. And that matters to the judges quite a bit. I mean, it's the last thing they're going to see, you know? Exactly. I wonder so much if it's the same judge that's... Usually that is the case. 